Major step forward for a young boy who almost died after swallowing a tiny battery three years ago. WLWT News 5's Christy Davis shows us how he is beating the odds. It's the best possible gift for the Roush family this year. The news that five year old Emmett will have the chance to live a much more normal life. And if you listen carefully during his mom's interview, you can kind of hear his excitement. He may yeah. not speak loud, but it's Emmett Roush is clear about what he wants. It's a trach change. Yes. It's like when you do a bath change. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's, That's it. it. Three years and one day after receiving his tracheostomy, Emmett will say goodbye to it for good. <laughs> Pretty nervous. <laughs> Excited, but nervous. <laughs> One, two, three. Good job, okay. A small button sized battery that Emmett swallowed on his first birthday nearly killed him. He got his hands on it while playing with a remote control. The battery was in there, we think, about three days. It had burnt um, two holes, um, fusing his esophagus and his airway together. The Roush family traveled from their home in Arizona to Cincinnati Children's Hospital for Emmett's treatment. After five surgeries and months in ICU, the Roush's thought Emmett would have a trach into his teen years. They had told us that um, because of his lung condition and his airway condition that um, it would probably be five to ten more years until the trach was removed. But a recent illness proved everyone wrong. You know, he actually got pretty sick from an upper respiratory infection, but he acted like any other kid. And that's what we like to see, and it tells us that basically he doesn't need the device anymore. Without it, Emmett can live like any four year old go swimming, take a bath, and his favorite, finally play soccer. Emmett's family wants to pay it all forward, raising awareness, warning parents to hide batteries from small children. I mean, right now, only reported is 3,500 cases a year, but we know there's much more. Hospitals are just not reporting it as battery ingestions, they're reporting it as foreign body objects. But on this day, they can celebrate a victory. It feels like such a blessing to be where we're at today. Christy Davis, WLWT News 5. Well, it's one of the worst times of the year, as you can imagine, with Christmas for accidents involving batteries. So keep the batteries locked away. Keep lithium ion battery devices like remote controls and even those singing Christmas cards. Keep them out of reach of kids. And if you suspect that your child has swallowed a battery, obviously get that kid right to the hospital.